Kramer, I saw some changes that are coming down the pipe to Google Maps and photos on the maps. And after I read it three times, I think I'm more confused <laughs> than, than the start. And then I talked to you and you seem to have a little bit of a clue about it. So before we switch over to see the text, go ahead and say hi and uh, good to have you on the show. Great, great. Ha uh, happy to be here. And it took me uh, five readings and a little bit of study to understand it. So if you stopped at three, that makes perfect sense. Uh, <laughs> well, also, let me go ahead. Go ahead, Kramer. The changes are specifically addressed to photographers and to people who enjoy adding photos to Google Maps, which is that that's one reason they don't actually say that. That's one reason it's a little confusing. So when you put it up, we'll go through it and it'll all make uh, perfect sense. So again, this is really geared to changes to Google Maps and adding photos that will be seen on it for both photographers and also people just like putting pictures up as they go along. Right, exactly. Anybody, um, anybody that has any sort of a smartphone with, uh, with a camera in it and the Google Maps app and the apps they'll mention there that are coming in the future will be able to use it. So um, the, uh, go ahead and put it up and I'll... Um, yeah. I'll, I'll read down it and explain sort of what it is. Yeah, so I'm going to make it a little bigger on the screen here Great. so we can see it. So here's the thing that I got so excited about and then got so overwhelmed with. Yeah, I, I, I had the same experience. So we'll, we'll, we'll untangle this really quickly here. Um, among Google's imagery products, we strive to balance what makes sense for you, the photographers is what it's saying, not, not, not the users. Um, so, reading down a bit, it mentions a new Street View app. Now, previously, you were able to um, shoot what's commonly known as photo bubbles as well as photographs and add them to the maps via uh, different, different methods. Here, they want to unify the experience of uploading pictures by creating a new app that isn't out yet. And uh, when it's out, probably next month or so, uh, you'll be able to download it for your Android or uh, iOS, um, your iPhone or uh, iPad if you carry that around with you to be able to produce the photo bubbles and upload them to maps via that new app that's coming. That's what it's about. And they mentioned these two new cameras that you'll be able to um, add the pictures directly from them. One is a consumer camera that'll do 360s about $500 and the other one's a professional camera about $1,500 and you can uh, it's not even available in the US right now. So um, when you say photo bubble, can you explain that a little more? Sure, if everybody's seen Street View and um, if you could imagine the Street View car just coming to a halt at a stop sign and, and um, imagine the 360 view in front, behind and all around so using uh, an app on your Android or iPhone, you're able to, say, for instance, go inside a, um, a museum or a, a, an interesting building or standing outside, you know, in a statue outside of a building, shoot a full 360 up, down, around, and capture that and put it on Google's map in the same way uh, Google does with their Street View technology. So, and of course, Google's the the app on, that I've used already for Photosphere. Uh, I I personally think the Google app for that you have to download the Google camera now to get that feature, and it seems to work better than uh, some of the phone manufacturer ones. So that's great. So then let's. Right. I think I got that. Now let's go down to Street Street. Right. Uh, go ahead. They're going to replace it with another one that will all be integrated. And we haven't seen the app yet, so that's what that is. I get it. So, so in, probably instead of having the Google Photo app and the camera app, and then the maps, they'll be all integrated into one. All that that seems to be the direction they're going. Woo! Thank you. All right, Street View Trusted. What are they talking about with that? Okay, this this refers to their uh, program of. Google trusted photographers, the photographers who have made the uh, time and equipment investment to be able to do uh, basically street view inside of businesses. Um, they apparently want more photographers to produce these and be trusted by Google. They're rebranding the name and will 
according to this release here, reduce the requirements so there will be more photographers uh, and able to produce these uh, inside businesses and adding it to Google Street View. So they're going to rebrand it, reduce the requirements in order to get more photographers, but you'll still have to have Google certified equipment and their training. Just going to make so basically, it. Basically, they're, they're going to lower. They they could be lowering the bar of people being able to do uh, the the Street View inside um, program, right? Right. For for instance, um, there were several requirements that you had that um, that me as a commercial photographer I already had. Uh, for instance, to this day, I have a million dollars in liability insurance. Uh, who knows? what their current requirements are or what they'll be in the future, but you, you may be able to become a trusted photographer uh, just being an advanced amateur, not a professional photographer. We don't know because uh, the requirements aren't out yet. Got it. Now let's go to Google Maps. What are we talking about here? Okay, so um, this refers to a program that is really cool but not many people know about. It is Google Maps Views. Uh, it's maps google.com forward slash views which is the uh, sort of the headquarters for all the individual pictures you've done and photospheres you've done to add to the maps itself so they're going to wrap all this together into one place they're going to kind of do away with that um, views presence and you'll be able to add your photospheres and pictures directly to the maps uh, they'll also be able to be seen by anybody from the maps uh, which is pretty cool. Now, if you look at a Google Maps and you can see down here those little red dots where these uh, still pictures or photospheres exist, uh, if you mouse over them right now, you'll see a little thumbnail of the picture or the, of the sphere. So mm -hmm. that's going to continue. They refer to the fact right now you can join these photospheres together. That tool will go away and it'll come back in a much better and easier form. So you know, it's really neat. Um, in talking to some of the guys in Bangladesh, one of them showed me how he did this with his phone walking down a street. And uh, yeah. and I, and so he basically had uh, personally mapped this out, which was fascinating. So this will now be more fully integrated with the map system, right? That's correct. It's, it's clear that Google literally wants every space a human being can get to on the planet mapped. So this will enable someone to you know, go down a trail around a park, uh, down an alleyway, down a side road that, where Google's cars can't go, uh, and, you know, and add the images yourself. So um, they, they want a general unified presence. They want more pictures. If you're a photographer that likes to add your own work to Google Maps, it, it, it's a pretty big deal. Um, you know, your pictures might be seen by people all over the world. Uh, you know, Google wins and the photographer wins. Well, uh, that uh, that Kramer, it was fantastic. Uh, thank you. I could have probably read it ten more times. Once you once you put it together, I got it. And uh, it's it's kind. Of, I mean, I'm I'm a real amateur. Have some fun. I mean, you've been. Uh, when you're gracious enough to give me a few tips, I chew on them for several months, and hopefully my uh, photos improve. Uh, I love when you were talking about focal points and stuff. You know, other than just you know, one thing I learned is when you got 35 years experience, you have some skills that are a little different than just lining it up on thirds. Yeah. So, well, well, it's it's uh, you work on it every day. So yeah. uh, so happy to help, and we'll see you. We'll see you on the map. And sounds good. This was great. Thanks so much. Good good to chat with you again, Kramer. I'll put the data and links below. Sure. Right.